Hello you guys, welcome to my channel. I am at the last week in my present team. In few days I am joining a new team, then my routine, my timing and everything is going to be changed. So I thought of recording a work day and take you guys along with me. I usually wake up between 4.15 to 4.30 am. Before my day gets overwhelmed by a lot of mommy work and office work, I would like to have at least 2 hours of me time. During that time, I read book, meditate and work out in the same order. I'm a non-fiction reader and this book out of statistics written by David, who is a researcher from Cambridge University. This book is for everyone, not specifically for data analysts or data scientists. He covers basically how statistics are misinterpreted while communicating to public. My work starts typically anywhere from 10.30 a.m. or 11 a.m. and goes till 7 or 8 p.m. in the evening. A typical 9 to 5 corporate job, but we work more than that. These days, I don't do makeup yet concentrate on my hair and outfit only. If you're new to my channel, I would like to give a quick intro. I work as a senior data analyst in an IT industry and I hold 7 plus years of experience. I live in Bangalore and I use YouTube to create content related to data analysis tools such as Excel, Power BI, SQL, Python and so on. I usually begin my day with a stand-up call with my teammates. Today I almost missed the call. I'm late to office due to traffic. As a best practice, I go through all my tasks, like to track them on one note, nothing much fancy, just a list will do the job. As mentioned, I'm in a lean phase, so I don't have much on my plate. Just to ensure to follow up some of the onboarding process with the new team. And my peers are doing reverse KT, so I have to review them and help them get to speed. Good part is I will show you how I'm using this time to learn Python and prepare for MO201 advanced certification and what is the materials I'm referring. Okay, so here uh, you see it right? PCF we are calculating, that is carbon footprint per year. For that, we, we are calculating two different ways. One is for the same uh, appliance, we are calculating carbon footprints uh, during manufacturing phase. The other one is during run phase. I could not cover much during my lunch time because I was running late for a call. A quick update on my status. So far I have completed 4 tasks and I checked them as well. I am left with mostly classes and few calls, that's it. Here are my learning list so far in Coursera. These are the courses that I've completed. Mostly my courses are related to data analysis and communication and sustainability related. Widely, Python is not a mandatory skill for a data analyst. However, if your job demands, you can definitely upskill. I'm learning this course from Coursera by Michigan School of Information, created by Dr. Charles, widely addressed as Dr. Chuck. He's a quite famous guy for teaching Python and other programming language. 
If you do not have a coding background, then highly recommend this course. For MO201 Advanced Excel Certification, I refer to an Udemy course created by Maven and Analytics. If you are in the field of data analysis, you might be aware of what Maven Analytics is. This course is presented by Eric Riss. This course contains topics such as advanced Excel functions, macros, advanced charts, etc. This helps you prepare for MO201 Advanced Excel Certification by Microsoft. I completed all my to-do, feel so great when I strike everything in my list. I know it's the same feeling for everyone. With this, I end my vlog here. If you're still sticking around, I really appreciate your time. Thank you. Bye.